mistakes beginner jiu-jitsu players make. You're a brand new white belt, less than a year. You finally get someone's back. Instead of regular hooks, you feel like this is better control. And it probably is, but there's just one thing. I could break your ankles if you do this. And if you keep them like this, it's gonna be very difficult for me to do that. So when he does this, number one, I'm gonna defend my neck so I don't get choked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look and see which foot he has on top. Right now he has the right side on top. So then I take my right leg, and if you're flexible, you just throw it over. If you're not, you grab it and you throw it over. I would say it to that little ball on your heel, right about to there, or slightly above it. Once I lock that, I come up and I make a triangle and I put my foot on the floor. Check your neck, squeeze your knees together, and slowly, 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 when you're training this, raise your hips. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna basically pop his ankle. Without locking, he can just pull both of his feet out. So what some people do, if the person's not crossing, they'll try to make them cross something like this. And then I'll come over. So be careful when you have the back, white belts. Don't let them make you do it and definitely don't do it yourself. Take your jujitsu to the next level. Go to mattaroyo.com.